Hey. Oh. Hello. Hello. What's going Rick. on? What's up? Oh, did I come on? Did I come on there? It was a black. Yeah, you were on my screen. Oh, yeah. My. Yeah, you, you came on and just thought we'd leave you hanging, see what happened. Yeah, you had no competition. Cruel, cruel to the old man. We know you're not old. The Hello. It is all dark. Hello. It's just so slick, our opening, isn't it? We just bosh, oh, yes. bosh, bosh. Hello. Super professional. Yeah. And then the four of us come on like a shambles. Ah, uh, yeah, that was the bit. All week. That was a bit, and then, hello, hello everybody, welcome to the Ideal Home Show, episode 136. What a show we've got for you tonight. No, John, <laughs> no, no, John, I'm afraid, he is busy um, moving house, kind of. He just sent us a message, uh, uh, he sends us little video messages um, all the time. Uh, he's just sent us one, he's in, the, in a pub playing a game he's invented called Roly Egg. <laughs> Because uh, he's playing against him, an egg. Well, no, he's playing. I th I'm, I'm hoping he's playing against Shelley. Oh, uh, uh, I thought he was playing against the egg, and I also thought he was losing. Yeah, um, I will leave him to explain Rolly Egg, um, because he might also have to explain why he's barred from his only local pub um, <laughs> <laughs> next week. Uh, but so John's not here this week. He's sort of moving house, sort of not moving house. He's he won't be here now house. because he's going to have to move house again because he's not allowed in the only pub in the village. Yeah, really. Egg. Um, um, so, no, John, but we do have Brad. Yay. From What's Phobic, Phobic Mods fame. We have James. Yay. The nation's favourite squonker. Yay. We, <laughs> we have Yay. Rick from modmaker.co.uk. Yay! The Yay. world's number one mod making par outlet. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you are behave. There's a big gap in between there. Anyway, um, so that's that, and and, and I'm me. Um, let's uh, crack what, on. What are you, what are you, Vicky? Are you the number one beat reviewer with a uh, number in his name? Uh, oh, no, I think you're the number one vape reviewer in the world with boyish charm. Mm. Oh, I think Mark Todd's got boyish charm, but he hasn't yeah, got he hasn't got a number in his name unless he unless his O is is a zero and he's T zero double D <laughs> T zero double D Mark T zero double D. Yeah. yeah, I think um. I think my business cards say the UK's 11th most popular reviewer. <laughs> <laughs> 11 is a cool number. Yeah. I think, gone, I think it's gone down now. I need to get those reprinted. Um, it might be 12th now. Uh, but yes, so that's that's that. On tonight's show, we have got more Showcase, Troll of the Week. We have Travava. We have news from the entire world of vaping. And... Um, Quite, quite an extensive piece on squonking later on. So, we'll be some, covered. Got some covered. Squonking covered tick guaranteed squonking stuff. Quite a craze these days, squonking, isn't it? I've it's, seen a few people doing it. I think it's going to be big, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, that's that. Uh, without further ado, Brad. Yes, darling. <laughs> uh, what time did you roll out of the pub? Hi. <laughs> what have you been drinking? What did you have for lunch? How's your week been? What are you vaping? Right. What was the first question? What time? <laughs> what time did you roll out of the pub? <laughs> I rolled out of the pub uh, ten minutes past eight. Uh, caught caught a very quick Uber home because the bus was not going to get me here on time. Dedication. Dedication. Yes. Um, and the week's been fabulous. Uh, cor corporate life sucks, but I think it's supposed to. So we just uh, carry on. And for in the pub, I was drinking the same thing I'm drinking now. Sierra, Sierra Nevada. 
That's the one. Sierra Nevada, Pale Ale. And I lie, I lie. I actually did have a, a Camden Pale Ale courtesy of Mark West. Continuity pub. Who bought me a, a round or two. I like it a lot. It's, it's quite nice drinking with the Omis because they, they buy me beer. It's always a plus, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I think we've got some uh, imagery to demonstrate what you're talking about. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there they are. Likely lads. That and uh they they're none of them are watching now because of this. <laughs> yeah, they're all in the pub because of me. What what I what I can say is I did feel very out of place, not because I was the only one in the suit, but because I was the only person without a squonker. Ah. I, 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 I showed up there representing 2013. Dripping on a regulated device, and uh, as I do love my regulated device, yeah. and I, I've actually increased my arms this week. And I'm running at point eight, which I'm quite enjoying. Wisp life, wisp life for the wind. <laughs> nice. Although we will find out later in the show that one of us has joined. I want to say thug life, but that's the wrong joke. <laughs> uh, Ombros, no. Uh, there's, defi there's definitely bro involved. Definitely bro involved. Cloud bros, there we go. <laughs> oh. Cloud bro clouds. Good grief, you're awesome after you've been at the pub, brother. I love you after you've been at the pub. Oh, I might need a little bit more of this to. Get the should... Sierra Nevada down here. Yeah. Mm. You should. Um... Who's the who's the organizer of this London thing? You should you should tell all the omis about it. Well, it's going to become a monthly meet in London. A um, little bit more info to come, but the the only prerequisite is that in future we won't meet on a Thursday. One, so that I can show up for the show on time <laughs> and relatively sober, and two, so that we don't lose half of our viewership to the pub. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Surely if there's enough people in the pub, you can go, yeah, put the YouTube on the telly, put the bread on the big screen. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, we'll, leave. we'll leave if you don't put it on the big screen right now. There was a large request for me to do the show live from the pub, but uh, I, I thought better of it. Uh, yeah, the, the loud doesn't noises. Doesn't and... work. Uh -oh. We have tried outside broadcast. It's tricky. I remember trying from vape gym this year and simply not even being able to get on, never mind dropping off halfway through a sentence. I have completely forgotten what the next question was. What did you have for lunch? I had a Sierra Nevada for lunch. Oh. Yeah, it's it's been a, a, a long, long drinking day. Just the pickled bread edition. <laughs> so. uh, that, that, might be an apt description there. <laughs> Why are you vaping then? Oh, you've done that as well. I've done that. Yeah. Oh, I've that, 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 pass it on. I'm done. Oh. Yay. <laughs> and I'm going to throw this at the resident hipster, James. Is that me? That's <laughs> you. <laughs> you've got the cutest little moustache. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking, vaping? What did you have for lunch on Sunday? Oh, bloody hell. Just to be fucking dif difficult. <laughs> and because I've been at the pub, I didn't think of a question. So by the time you've answered those three, I'll come up with something. Oh, he What did I have for lunch on Sunday? That's a good question. Uh, thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Uh, Sunday lunch. Yeah. Uh, um, I uh, did. You ask what my heavy week was. I hope you did because I'm going to tell you. Uh, my week has been good. Uh, we did. We did. The, we did the waffle this week, didn't we? Did, we on Saturday. That was the end of the waffle. So that was the kind of the. Uh, the start of this week from you know, the Friday, you know, the, you go Thursday through Wednesday, or Thursday through Thursday. Um, so waffles good. I'll uh, update on the waffle a little bit later on. Uh, it was Father's Day on Sunday, yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that. I like having a deer 
just for fathers that's nice uh, there should be more of that more more father's day so we we'll maybe have some son's day and uh, uncle's day definitely more men related day it seems as though a lot of days are women related no that's not true isn't it? days aren't women related uh but that was good i got spoiled and that was lovely uh oh that that, that does remind us what i had for lunch on sunday um my wife made us a lovely homemade corned beef pie, which she doesn't make very often, and it's kind of a little bit of a special thing because it's, uh, I don't know why it's a special thing, because because I cook, that's why. Uh, so that's what I had. I had pie and chips for me lunch on Sunday, homemade pie and chips. Um, so that's what... Uh, yeah, he'd be rolling his eyes. He would, he would. He would. I'm sure I corned beef pie came up before and he wasn't impressed. I don't know. I think it was uh, the last special occasion I had. Uh, uh, can't wait back. Uh, so, right, uh, this week, what have I been doing this week? This week, I have been, I've been clouds brown. I've been clouds brown. Yeah, I, I have, um, I've, I've entered the uh, the world of heavy duty, heavy duty clouds bro. I'm looking for sponsorship and um, it opened me Insta Instagram game uh, at the minute. Uh, and I'll give you a little, a little demo. Come on. I haven't got my snap back on, but uh, I've done my hair. But uh, look, that isn't that just crazy? Clouds, bro. That is that is uh, a not point one three dual fused Clapton. That's where it is. It's a fused bro Clapton bro. Uh, which I mean, I'm hand made the white. You know, I, I was talking to you earlier, uh, Rick, about about. The, Getting a swivel and stuff. I went and got a swivel from the from the from the tackle shop, and then I made a rig. I went. The, I got some wood, and I made a full. Because I, I, I wasn't supposed to put the swivel. I needed somebody to put to put the swivel. So, and I didn't want to do it outside, just attaching it. So I made a full like L shaped wooden rig thing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but I, I don't know how people can I, really. You, you need. Super duper eyes, it's like wrapping a hair around. You know I've got another slightly bigger hair, it's, it's ridiculous. I've got this, James. This makes it a bit easier. Where is it? Can you see it? Oh, I can't uh, see it. That bit of medical looking equipment, yeah, yeah it's a big magnifying a, glass. It's a giant magnifying glass. Yeah, yeah. I, had put, I had to put my readers on and everything. Um, I thought you were showing us your fan, like you hooked it up to the fan. <laughs> That'd work if you took the blade off. You could use it instead of a drill. Yeah, yeah. Or with the blade on, you could use it, and it would keep you cool. Even better. But no, it does help to have uh, to have some magnifying to magnify it a bit. But it is still, you know, if it's in the right place because it's moving. You know, you just sort of hold it tight on the spool back, and just zip that drill as fast as you can, and it just goes along. You know, it, it just, it's just, it's uh, just. The, 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 I had bits where I had like maybe a centimetre or two centimetres where the whole thing was back to back perfect. And you can see like you get like a sheen um, yeah. rather, than, rather than the individual ways. It, it becomes what becomes one. Um, but I couldn't, I just couldn't keep that up for more than maybe a centimetre or so at a time. That's me first, that's me first go at that. I'm going to try some clappings with the same wire, but that, that, point, that point 0.1 millimetre wire. It is. It is super duper. That's the thinnest wire I've ever. Even when I it when I first started vaping, it's super duper thin. Yeah, super that's duper what I've got. I think mine might even be thirty nine gauge, which is under point one. I think. Yeah, the, the thinnest I zero nine. Mine, mine is. The thinnest yeah. I managed to successfully use was was uh, forty gauge, but even even then, it was such a pain in the ass. I, I think what is surprising just how uh, how strong the actual tensile strength is. So I expected it to be, you know, just to to snap the easy, but um, but it doesn't. It, it does. It's definitely it does. a knack to it. You'll you'll find it easy. It's it's so easy to make them. You do it a few times, and you know you just hold hold the spool slightly to the left to the right of it, and it pulls it along. Well, I think I'm going to try works and try and do some clappings with the same wire, single, you know, single core rather than the than the dual core um with the ones that, that are made with that and, and and besides i think 0.13 is a little bit too low yeah, for you, me you've made your coils 0.25 in a diameter i have i if have they were three mil that would be a 0.15 and it'd be that's that's what i like i still think i'd like to be a little bit the thing is though <laughs> here's the thing rick i'm taking a talk 
and the battery life is is depleting after a single after a single blast on it. It's that's ridiculous. Yeah, that'd be better on a Mac. That'd be perfect on a Mac. Point one five about there. Crazy, excellent flavour though. Goon is superb, and I find your box is quite cool as well. Uh, so anyway, oh, it's a battery work. Disappear as you exhale. It, it's it's metal. it's not an indoor vape. I don't know how people can can vape like that all the time indoors. It's it's that's not, you cannot you couldn't watch the telly and vape like that. It's absolutely metal. Uh, so anyway, what about uh, this week? Uh, what else do I do? It's on Father's Day. Uh, I've been I've started watching the staircase on uh, Netflix. Have you seen the staircase? It's cool. It is. It's much more interesting than it sounds. It's not just about the staircase. Uh, it's uh, one of them docudramas. It's but it's like 12 parts are like a now reach. I think how much information you read, but the fly, you were flying through them or about halfway through. And that's been superb. If you haven't seen that, I do recommend it. Especially if you're, um, if you were into uh, Evil Genius and stuff, uh, it's a similar sort of affair. If uh, Evil Genius, Staircase, and the one about the football player who murdered his ex wife. Yeah, OJ, the OJ. OJ, thing. OJ yeah. They're yeah. all. Similar premise, formed the same sort of way, and really hook you. Oh, the other proper. Oh, should we watch one more before we go to bed? Go on, we'll watch one more. Um, so that's been good. We went to the staircase. Uh, what did I receive this week? I received that this week. Oh, I got some. See, I, I, I got. I'm, I'm clouds brown with the uh, with the NI80, but I, I'm also I'm also mesh brown. I'm wisp life and all. I'm going to rebuild me sat. I fully intended to have me sat 22 up and ready um, for this evening's show. However, uh, my son jammed something in Ellie phone today. It's not one of the blades of the fan, so I spent this afternoon trying to fix Ellie phone. Uh, I'm sure nobody knows what that means. Uh, uh, no, that's not even English as far as anyone else is concerned. It's a, it's a thing. It's a toy. It's, it's a toy game thing. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's an elephant. With a fan inside the elephant and a blows, <laughs> and then you put the trunk on, and then the, the the butterflies come out the trunk, and you catch them with a net. Anyway, oh, that one! I don't know. I've seen. Yeah, that, 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 and, I thought you were trying to say telephone. No, Ellie, Ellie phone. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 elephants, do elephants actually eat butterflies in the wild and blow? No, them? no, they just inhale them and then spit them out. Uh, that's, yeah. that's that's through yeah. their trunk though. Uh, oh, well, yeah, not just out the mouth. Oh. That would be, that would just that would be not be no fun catching them like that way, would it? No, it'd be no fun at all. No, I mean, I, I presume that's why people go on safaris for that sort of thing. I'd like to, <laughs> I've never seen that. I'd like to see that. Yeah, I, I think it was on Blue Planet or one of oh. them, one of them Attenborough ones. Yeah. We'll, 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 all five of us will stream live in the new year from a safari in Africa. That will be a proper shit show, but there'll be cool elephant, yeah, cool elephants, no? elephants to show you. Yeah, elephants, <laughs> elephants, <laughs> elephants and fun. It's Ali fun. Anyway, so that was that. Uh, what else? Uh, so what about Vietnam? I'm in Vietnam as usual. Still got the shadow off. Still got the white rex, and I've still got a whistle on top. And in there, I have got custard cream, as I have every week. I have got the I am three five six with a viper and a whistle on top and in there is oh is not a um from www dot um just add oh, just add juice just add just, just add nick that's it just add nick uh, whoever nick is uh and then i've also got uh the sunbox with uh, another viper and this time i've got a mini barrel on top of there and in there is Oh, something nice. I can't remember what it is. Um, oh, it's um, again from Just Add Nick. It is the now defunct uh, lemon crack. Uh, yeah. Uh, what am I drinking? I'm just I've just cracked a Moretti for a change, and that is me done. Yay! That's Sorry, right, that. I, 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 I threw my. Surprise question to chat. And chat wants to know, courtesy of Trevor Larkin, if you could be any kind of dinosaur, what kind of dinosaur would you be? Oh, well, you know, you think you'd want to be the king of the dinosaurs, which I presume is the T-Rex. Uh, but them tiny arms, so restricting. Pterodactyl. That... Pterodactyl all day. Well, yeah. Oh, I'd ooh. like to be a pterodactyl, I think. 
yeah. because because you, what about what about something like uh, a triceratops uh they seem as though they've got the, you know they're quite fierce and also probably quite well respected in the dinosaur world uh, uh, what about a megalodon what about a megalodon i'd like to be a megalodon <laughs> okay a giant shark because they are huge, man, don't they? Yeah. Your, beard, your beard wouldn't be very hydrodynamic, though. Yeah, but I wouldn't have a beard if I was a dinosaur. I don't know. <laughs> a shark. I a shark a, could a shark be a dinosaur? Is a shark a dinosaur? Well, they've been around yeah. a long, long time. Yeah, does no. that make him a dinosaur, though? No. Yeah, I think it's the right period, isn't it? No. It's still a shark, even, isn't it? So, so I got that wrong. A pterodactyl isn't strictly a dinosaur either, but fuck that. Yeah, I'll still be a pterodactyl. What Sweet about uh, a nice, a nice, friendly kind of woolly mammoth? You know, you can uh, you can survive that icy age, maybe to a certain degree. You and got then a cool jacket on, the, the most hipster on. <laughs> Plus, you get you, you get. Around. Aren't they more modern than dinosaurs? No, it's not a dinosaur. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with tri uh, um, Triceratops then because I don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, a short armed dinosaur. No, just, they do look like that's, they, fair, they, that's fair enough. They look like they, they've got thalidomide, don't they? The T-Rex is a bit. Well, I just, I just worry about, you know, placing Scrabble tiles or, you know, <laughs> doing Rubik's cubes. That's going to be really tricky. Even yeah. just changing a light, even but just they, turning a is, light. They've on. always said they're the king of the dinosaurs, but there isn't there tr isn't there sort of theory coming out that says they're not because they're probably imagine having a wink. Great, because they're small arms. They're on the floor like cows eating vegetation and scraps off the floor, more than being killing machines like Triceratops horned right up. It's got weapons. Yeah. But, you know, all it's got is its teeth, the T Rex, isn't it? And it's not that I big. Mean, you, I mean, the, the, I mean the, that head looked massive, lots of teeth, but it's tiny like, brain. T t well, I think they've all had, they all had tiny brains, and that. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. My dinosaur knowledge is probably quite minimal. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Triceratops. It kind of reminds a bit of Keith Flint in that Firestarter video, and you know, quite mean the way that he is. You're taking it back to the nineties with that, mate. I think, I think, um, I think, the, like I say, probably quite well respected in the dinosaur community. Uh, that's all. That's all. I think that's all you can ask for it as a dinosaur to be, you know, the respect of your dinosaur yeah. peers. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's that. That's that. Oh, you know me, Rick. Well, uh, let's go to you. Let's go to you. How's your week been? What are you drinking? What are you vaping? And what do you, what do you, what did you have for your? What was the last thing you ate yesterday? Because oh. that 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 often correlates to what you had for your lunch today. So, uh, so we'll say what you had for your, what did you have the last thing you had uh, yesterday at eight? And uh, here's a question for you: Have you got uh, have you got a drunk a junk drawer? And if you have, what's what? What would what would be the like the thing that you go ah that's in the junk the junk drawer I'll go and get that. Oh, you, like mean, the, you mean the dad good drawer? Question. Good question. The dad the dad drawer whatever you want to call it. Well, I mean we just call it the junk drawer in the kitchen. Uh, you might yours might not be in the kitchen. Could be anywhere. Well, it's actually be... we, we oh. put our junk in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not good. It's not the right type of junk. There's different types of junk, isn't there? Absolutely. If you, take take away menus, junk. batteries. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's it. You know what, you, you know where it is. As, as soon as you throw that good junk in the bin, the next year, possibly yeah. at most a week, you go, "Oh, I worked through that." The manual for a blender that you don't own anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, week's been good. good. Busy at work. Uh, got some new prototypey things in that I've been playing with and designing stuff. I've been quite busy designing lately, doing all three D printed mounts for boards and things like that, and. Yeah, it's been good at work. Good at work this week. Quite productive. Um, <clears throat> my drinking. I've got a mixture of beers that I got for Father's Day off of my boy Jake. And up right now I've got a Big Wave Gold Nail. That's a very nice beer. Yeah, I've got a few. of He bought some cans around, all these different types of Stones IPA. I think I had one of those earlier. Um, I don't know what else there is. I'll go and get another one in a minute. Um, what am I vaping on? 
same everything's the same as always so i'm not even going to show it but i have got my roundhouse with a kennedy on top this week it's different and in my rotation um I, I miss the kennedy i like the kennedy and I, I got this kennedy the other week and i haven't really used it all the roundhouse so i thought i'd give him a go this week and <laughs> very nice in that what's in that oh i've got wick liquor boulevard in there got a little bit left using that up um yeah on this little squonker this is a little little thing you do a little sneaky sneaky peek because i have put a sneaky peek on mob maker this week about a new 510 i've got coming and it's i'm actually using it in this mod and it's a screw adjust 510 you can see that uh -huh. um, yeah i saw this on mod showcase i think yeah yeah, yeah oh I'm mob making health advice actually so, so it's manually adjusting yeah it is, yeah, but the good thing about it is you don't need a locking ring because when you put it in your pocket, you just unscrew it and it can't fire. Ah, so oh, then, you, then when you want to use it, you tighten it up and you're cooking. So you can adjust the screw from the underside of the 510? Underside and top side, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'll put an Allen key head in the pin as well up the top just in case you want to there's no it didn't take any more effort to put one of those in there as well so but yeah the ideally it's just for mechs that it, it's it's um it's it's to open up and undo really but no i'm just giving that a go, going over and uh we'll have that in a few weeks time also right. also yeah another good thing this week is today actually i've put an order in for those new oh, what i don't know what class it is i can't keep up with the yee classes but i've got those sx 485j boards come in the color i suppose you say the equivalent of the dna 75c coming from from yeehee yeah what you get in those it's in their new mod isn't it the sl or something i've got one of there they're, they're kindly sending me one of those as well because i said i haven't had time to make a mod with the pro with the sample they gave me at expo but um i'll manage to wangle a free one of those coming next week as well so Awesome. awesome so i can try it out and see what it's all about but no it looked really good at expo i don't know if you had a look did you richard yes i think i think it's beautiful yeah and it goes up to 100 watts with the right battery i'm a big fan of you big, oh, big yeah, the boards are great i mean i started making a mod actually with the board i might i might show you i could do a little update over the weeks because i'm not rushing this one but i'm making a little mod with um that yee board in it is it with uh, Scott's block? It is. Look, I've started milling out the block. Got a lid to go on it after. It's going to go recessed in there. And I started making, cutting holes and putting holes for battery tubes. And okay. I'll update you next week. That's as far as I've got this. Ah, that's cool. Superb. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it on the modding front. Was there, what did I have for lunch? for tea yesterday last thing i had to eat yesterday yesterday we had a barbecue in the afternoon in the evening so we just made so, so had some homemade burgers and some sausages that's it didn't have anything else um the sausages burgers and some salad lovely and Any sauce yes i actually had a little because we made any we had brioche buns so i, I wanted a bit of a I asked if we had any American mustard because I quite like a mild mustard in a in a burger, uh, but we didn't. We just had this mustard mayonnaise stuff. So I had some mustard mayonnaise and some ketchup in my burger with some red Leicester slices on there as well. You've changed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But you got to have the ketchup. You can't not have ketchup. On oh, you got to have a mixture. Yeah, I think so. I like a bit of mayonnaise and ketchup. Um, question What was the question? Oh, do you ask me what's it? Oh, junk drawer. Yes, I have got a junk drawer. I've got a junk drawer in the kitchen, like you, James. And it hasn't, it's not filled up with manuals and things like that. It's filled up with things like there's some Allen keys, there's some batteries, there's that cork from the champagne we opened when we moved in the house with a quid stuck into it for some reason. It's just <laughs> overflowing with stuff. I mean, there's hair bands, there's anything you could ever want in your house is in there like, like james says the shit that you won't need until the day after you throw it away well it doesn't even close the drawer hardly i mean it's just jam-packed i mean sometimes sometimes you put a carrier bag in there and it won't close it's like yeah that ain't going in there um, <laughs> <laughs> 
it's just chock. I mean, I think Annie actually had to empty it out. We we were looking for some keys, and uh, she emptied. She took some stuff out and filled up half a box. But now it's filled up again with other stuff. Um, but no, that's salad tape. Oh, if, anything you could want. I mean, to be honest, our our uh, living room, our extension at the back there, we've got a one of those big IKEA five by five record. You know, they're they're the vinyl. Uh, shelves really they're perfect for vinyl those things like what you've got behind you yes but bigger that's a four by four we got a five by five in there and it's half of it's filled up with kids making we call it making stuff so drawers full of pva glue glitter and paints yeah, and and paint cleaners yeah oh, it's just like it's just a, it's a wall of just junk that the kids use sometimes to make stuff and I don't use it very often, actually. We should clear it up. But um, so yeah, we we've got all sorts of stuff, lots of clutter in our house. Real. I think I might uh, start a little uh, junk drawer thread uh, at some point this evening or tomorrow. I might take a picture of the junk drawer. It is good. I'll go. I'll go get a picture if you do that thread. I'll take a picture of the junk drawer. Right, bro, bro, bro. Richard, I'll just take a picture of my house. There's my <laughs> junk drawer. Oh yeah, yeah, you wait till till Littling gets older. There's even more <laughs> junk then. Anyway, Richard, how's your week been? What are you vaping on? I'm going to ask again. What is the last rice dish you had? Um, and I like I like animal questions. I've I'm into animal questions. I've if an animal could be scaled down, so. Pick a big animal that you think would be really cute if it was scaled down to the size of a cat. <laughs> oh, I know exactly already. Is that it? Is that everything? Okay. Um, week's been beautiful. Every week is beautiful in its own way. And this one, <laughs> this, this one certainly was that. Did you finish the questions? Have you, have you definitely... Is that it? Are we, are we ready? No, no, I'm asking if did, did you at work finish? The oh, question? the 1256. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to the 1256 question risk assessment. I got to the end and then it gave me a list of 24 documents it wanted attaching to reinforce oh the answers I'd given. Oh my God. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I ha uh, that it actually really affected my mental health doing that, which is a risk in itself. So it's, yeah, it's almost ironic, isn't it, that they're trying to assess you for risk and they're putting you at risk with the assessment. Some some of the documents they requested would have actually been a security breach to share as well. So yeah, uh, so yeah, so there we go. Uh, so that was a wonderful uh, thing. Drinking Hop House. Um. Still liking that. Uh, last rice dish I had was a paella. Oh, I know. Sarah a real one it. with fish and prawns and chicken and everything. Yeah, it wasn't the full like restaurant standard, but Sarah knocked it up and it was really good. Prawns in there, so a little bit of all sorts. Yeah, it was good. Really nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. So she John's not here because he would he would say a paella. I'm paella. sure he would definitely say. A, <laughs> oh, I had a. Paella. Uh, it, it is paella, doesn't it? it is. It is. Yeah. Uh, so that was a thing. That was nice. Um, uh, what was, oh, yeah. Oh, if I could have any animal the size of a cat, it would always be a horse. A little cat size horse yeah. would be quite cute, wouldn't that it? It would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be uh, quite cool, yeah. Or maybe a giraffe, a little giraffe. So what about what about an elephant with the tiny tiny little butterflies? Oh yeah. <laughs> Where would you get the tiny butterflies from? Well, in the same place. The same. Like swapping for gnats or something. Just be snorting wasps. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. A little elephant the size of a cat. I think. Oh, don't you think a little horse though? Just trying. Little rhinoceros. Little rhinoceros would be quite funny. Yeah, but imagine you're just watching. You're watching Prime Suspect on Netflix and. A little horse just trots up, and you just pet a horse for. Oh, it'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, and if it's because they stand still, don't they? Quite well, you could be a really good footrest. I'll tell you what'd be quite funny if you had a lion the size of a cat. It's still, still bigger, though, isn't it? 
That would just be a cat, though, wouldn't it? With, yeah, yeah that's a hairy cat. cat. It would be cool, though, a tiger. Or a, they are a bit different to domestic cats, aren't they? Yeah. I'd love it if it had yeah, the mentality just, of a lion. Yeah, and he could just give it a little kick and say, fuck off, stop biting me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to devour me. <laughs> a few good suggestions would, in chat. I want to try ceratops. Oh, good one. <laughs> little T-Rex. Not an animal. No, no, no. I mean, it's not a vegetable or a mineral, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Grey for Land would have a hippo. Andy Fairchild wants a panda. That's not a bad shout. That'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, any little bear. Uh, yeah. Matt Fox has gone rogue. He wants an ant the size of a cat. No, it has to be a bit... Oh, I suppose I didn't say... So it's, it's, it has to be scaled down. So it has to be something big that's and, and that would be terrifying. That would be scary. That ant would kill you. And that would have been... Jo John could have had one of them having to move house. I reckon a, an ant the size of a cat easily carry a sofa. Easily. Easily oh, could, oh. yeah. Yeah. Schwartzy's followed the same uh, same path and has asked for a spider the size of a cat. Oh, no. That's, that's the worst idea ever. Yeah. And there's there's spiders the size of cats and yeah. that. That's not cool. Not cool. There's a spider that eats chicken, isn't there? Is there? No, no, no. Well, there no, are, that's, they aren't spiders. That. Oh, shut. <laughs> we all eat chicken. Come on. Even vegetarians <laughs> eat chicken. I mean, you have to cook it and dice it up, but it will, <laughs> it will, eat, it will eat chicken. Um, yeah, so uh, that's that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Food. Um, vaping on. Um after the amazing raffle that everyone contributed towards and James ran last week, I got this. You lucky bugger. You very I know, very, very jammy. Very jammy. I've never had any luck with any sort of raffly thing. I always, you know, I always try and have a go and I've never really done anything. But uh, this is uh, more than made up for that. What a beautiful thing this is. And I was showing James before we came on. Um, it's it's small. If I show you against the bonner, it's it it's one of those that looks big on pictures, mm -hmm. and it really isn't. It's uh, very very cute, but very cute, and it just yeah, it's beautiful, it's beautifully well made. Eddie is a a wizard, he really is. Um, so yeah, very very pleased with that. That's uh, very 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 lucky. I'll I'll probably use it for a bit and put it in the next raffle because I do feel a little bit guilty. No, you you weren't even going to accept it, and I just thought it was a perfect. No need to feel guilty, Richard. You were a punter in that raffle, just like everybody else, mate. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. Well, so yes, yeah, so, but I am blown away. I'm really pleased with it. I think it's amazing. Uh, so that's that. Also got this. This is um, this is quite a thing as well. The Bassium. Oh, from Dovpo and the Vaping Biker. Yeah, is, is, is that a cube, or are the angles slightly off? It's, Square, squarish. Probably square. Yeah, I, and again, it looks so much bigger than it is. If I show you the uh, Pico Squeeze Two, which uh, you know has just come out recently, uh, they're kind of the same. But this is a dual eighteen six fifty, whereas this is single cell. So uh, why can't I line that up? Uh, so yeah, so it's that's not actually big at all. It's just another one of those things that looks big on pictures. Um, is, it, is it comfy to use, Rich? Do you know, it's it. You can you can vape it th three different ways. Finger and it because the bend is on this side, it fingers yeah. very very well. Um, and you can you can reverse what I call reverse thumb it as well, and that kind of works. You can side it. Yeah, it's good. It's any you can hold it at any way you like because uh, there's no way of. You can let if you just grab it with a lefty. I don't know. I don't always vape the same way. I'm a bit random. So it reminds me of my triple parallel I've got. Yeah, which is why I made it because it's a square. You actually got a gap when you're holding a single battery squonk, and there's a, enough room for two more batteries or a board and another battery. So it's actually really comfortable. Yeah, it is. It, it is. It totally totally works, and it's got its screen. It's regulated 180 watts. 180 and watts, man. 
I know, but it, it, it is for like, it, it is a cloudy squonkers perfect. In terms with your Claptons, you're going to be rocking 180 watts by yeah. next. Oh, I am, I am moist at 180 watts. That's, I, I'm, I'm, that, that was kind of a, oh. This is your future, James. You're staring, yeah. you're staring you're into your future. That with two batches in, in parallel, no, in series with your build you've got now. I'm on my third squonk bottle at 50 watts. It's mm. crazy. And it's but it's just a perfect work squonk, you know. Um, yeah, I'll even chuck in the drip tip, James. It'll, it'll look perfect with your goon. Um, <laughs> it, it has a very clever trick as well um, that's massively ignored in the, the budget squonking range. Just don't forget, this is going to be very, very, very affordable as well. About 60 quid. Um it's got this tr this tray, this shelf, this uh, thing, and you just uh, and you pull out your squonk bottle like that, which means it. So the connector is here, and you attach the bottle. Hope I'm not showing too much off. Uh, oh, but anyway, it's too late now. Um, so, but it's basically, supposed to be secret. Uh, it's not out out yet, but um, but the beauty is. You can basically put whatever squonk bottle you like in here. So your mod maker bottles will go in here because the, obviously you just it just dictated by the amount of tube you have up here. Mm. So it's um, and that just slides in. So that is just great. Super really clever. Good build. It, Good very build. very intricate. Uh, so yeah, this is just it is the, it is for any cloudy squonker. It's just the perfect work vape. Um. Yeah, I think, and I think it's good timing as well. Regulated squonking is on the up, uh, so very, very pleased with that. And uh, yeah, um, stay tuned to uh, Dean's channel. I'm sure it's any day now. He'll do an actual sort of launch video for this, and he'll show it you in uh, more detail and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned to his for that. And what else we got? I'll cut it short because we're on a long hand check. I have the. This is the, the Arthur RDA. Um, I don't know who makes it. Uh, it's kind of like a goonish. No, it's kind of Kennedy-ish and on the Dreamer. But inside it, I have white gold from uh, uh, this black box people. This very popular, isn't it? This juice uh, from Just a Nick. And this one's a very, very sweet, sweet juice. It's very nice, though. Very nice uh, change-up vape. Uh, so I'm enjoying that. Uh, what's in the news, James? Oh, first, first straight, in the news. straight to you. Okay, uh, let's have a let's just scroll through my notes. Um, okay, uh, I mentioned this a few weeks ago. The covenant, uh, covenant, covenant again, the covenant uh, from Fluid Mods. They have brought out, or they are bringing out in the next uh, week or so, some new air guides. If you, I, I've got some pics of these, uh, Rick. Uh, I don't know if you remember the Covenant. I know Brad loves this this particular addy. I see. It's, it's the one with the. It's got the massive. It's got the ma what looks like a massive air hole, but in fact, it's one uh, one picture. One just the one picture. Just of the, uh, that's all I've got of this particular. Um, this particular thing. So, um, the original Covenant had uh, many, many small air holes uh, for a mouth to lung kind of vape, as you can see there. And they're bringing out three new versions, which we wouldn't see here, which is uh, a seven, a five, and then a one grip big one. So, these are going to be available from Fluid Mods in the next couple of weeks. And I think it's a brilliant idea. I mean, if you're going to have something, I mean, it's a little bit like, I'm, a few weeks ago, I had the um, the Salix from Eden Mods, and they had the air cassettes. This is a similar sort of affair. Uh, but as you can see, you've got following on from um, from their original design, where you had eleven or whatever it was, uh, about one millimeter holes or whatever. Oh, I'm doing my OCD. And are those holes? Those holes aren't in the aren't in straight lines. I think I think that's just the angle that the uh, that the lights coming through them, uh, Rick. To be honest oh, with you. Okay. I presume they're going to be because you, you know what fluid mods. Oh, I haven't said that. Uh, but I, I, I presume they're going to be pretty much spot on on the uh, on the production versions, or that could just be like I said, like the light passing through them. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's um, the light coming from the holes on the far side. I think, I think it could well be, because you, you, yeah, uh, it's got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be. They, they'll, they'll be spot on in the production version, I'm sure. Um, so what do you think about them, Brad? I know you, like I say, you're a big fan of the, um, the actual... I, I, I love my fluid. I've gone the other way. I really like the tight draw, and I, I actually like it a little bit tighter than with all of them. So I turn my cap ever so slightly. There's... With my setup here, I don't stand a chance. No, of, I didn't say, you didn't say, yeah. But I've closed it off so half of the existing seven holes are blocked to make it more more of a mouth to lung. So I'd I'd be keen for them to make a make one with three holes or four holes. The the uh, the post that um, that was put up on the fluid mods group didn't give you <clears throat> excuse me much information about to, to regards to. The actual vape you were, that they were they were intending to, re, to re actually achieve, uh, but hopefully more information will come in the next the mm -hmm. next the next week or so, and I'll I'll maybe update next week. Um, but I, I think it's nice to have these options. Yeah, definitely. So uh, so that's the 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 covenant air guides. Uh, he, next thing, what's going to you, James? But what has he brought out a sort of RRP or a rough price guide for what? The uh, no, it was just literally a. This is what's coming soon, kind okay. of jobby. Um, as far as I'm aware, that, that was that was also on the post. Um, so that's the uh, that's the air guides. Next thing was oh, something that popped up on my feed yesterday was uh, was a seal at cheeky vapes that had some crazy, crazy bargains. Uh, the Crichton by Cyclone was 20 quid. I mean, that's like that's like 80 quid odd a year. Uh, the Pandora by Psychosis was 20 quid. Um, all of the I don't know, but is it is it the is it the dog the doge the dodge the doggy douge the the douge the douge that's it can't that, be that's... douche. There's only one O. No, it's douge like a douche. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the worst possible permutation of them uh, of, of them pronunciations there. The the douge the, the, the I'm not I'm going to call I, I call it the the the. the the George, the George, the dog. The, I, I don't know what I call it. Uh, I've never said that out loud. Uh, they were uh, they were all reduced uh, from ten to fifteen quid. Uh, they had oh they had the Luke the Lukos maintenance kits for twenty quid if you got a, a wooden Lukos uh, with the, the with the oil and the, and, the, and in the box in the lovely little Lukos box uh, they were twenty quid uh, and some juice and bits and bobs that was on cheeky VF. I noticed that yesterday. If anybody wants to uh, jump on there. And get a Crichton for 20 bones. That was unbelievable. Um Don't say what colour it is. Say what colour it was? The Crichton. Stainless, the, mainly, aren't they? I th yeah, I thought they were all stainless, weren't they? Good. Yeah. That'll be white, don't say. Isn't that, isn't that the isn't that by isn't that is that by the by the people that made Hadley? Yeah, yeah by Lord, yeah, by I tried people. it, Bryn had one. It's good. Good day. Eh? I think yeah. it's going to be it's going to be worth twenty quid. Yeah, the yeah. Uh, the Doge V three is good as well. They've got the V one, the V sorry, the V two, the V three. They've got uh, oh, they had various. Is there a two point five? There was Lord. There seemed to be Lords then Doges on there. Doge, Doge, Doge. I called it Doug. It's Doge, but they changed it. They they sent a thing out saying they wanted everyone to call it the Doggy. Wow. I'm, I'm, I don't think I want to call it the doggy. That's because a D or G E does not spell doggy. <laughs> no, Doge. A G and an, an, an I there. Doge. Right? Doge, bro, Doge. I, th I think they're probably French. Uh, it's, it's Doge. It's Doge. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, 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 that's me. Uh, uh, so that's, that's, that was Cheeky V. There was a thing on, uh, and I'm, I'm a little bit loath to mention it, but there was a thing on on BBC News uh, yesterday yesterday. Um, which I kind of went, uh, yeah, I've been thinking this for a little while, about vape shop saturation sort of thing, about how um, how vape, uh, w was opening a vape shop a good idea? Uh, and, I, and, I, and, and, then, and then the same thing popped up, and, and I'd, I'd, I'd already saw the article yesterday, and then a similar sort of thing popped up on Plant of the Vapes today um, about about the amount of vape shops around and, and, and have we have we kind of, have we breached the, the 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 peak of it sort of thing? Have we we event have we, have we hit the event horizon sort of thing of, of vape shops? 
so I had a little bit of a Google, and I, I've always thought there's been absolutely tons of vape shops in Sunderland, and there is. And I had a little Google, and uh, I think we're down to ten, uh, which 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 is I mean what, 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 we are a city, but uh, ten on Google anyway. And then there was a couple of people who were doing deliveries locally, um, and Sunderland Town Centre is with is absolutely littered with 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 vape shops and you gotta remember argos now sell um vape gear every news agent sells juice um spa every supermarket you know have we hit and this is kind of a, a one just to kind of to just kind of put across the board and see what people think like have we hit it is it would now be and that's not even talking about online have we hit like I say, the event horizon. Are we? To, are, are we? Is it gone too far? Is it? Would now be a good time to open a VF shop? Is now an awful time to open a VF shop? I, I was thinking the same thing this week, James. And I, if you say you've got ten in your area, of those ten, ten on many, ten on Google. Oh okay, yeah, but in your area, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many of those are good? I've absolutely no idea. I don't go to vape shops. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't, that, that's not true. I, I have I have visited a couple. I needed I needed cotton. I mean, I don't buy hardware from vape shops as well. There's a one. There's a one literally uh, around the corner from me, like three minutes three minutes away. Not even three minutes. Um, a minute and a half away from me. And I went. In, I've been in there a couple of times. And the first time I went in, I wanted some cotton. I asked for cotton bacon, which had a big sign for the window. And they didn't have cotton bacon, and they said, oh, this is just as good, it's, it's, it's exactly the same, and they sold us some god-awful pretend cotton bacon that was that was nothing like cotton bacon, and I vowed I'd never go in there again. However, uh, I went in there a few weeks ago after an Ego-type battery. Um, I wanted to, to put me... Um, probably me Typhoon on a on just on, on an ego just to get it started. I thought it'd be a good little uh little, looking little setup like a magic uh, like a sonic screwdriver sort of thing. Yeah. And I went and I went in asking for a um, for an ego style battery and the fella had no idea what I was talking about. I was like, you know like a starter kit, like a starter kit battery, you know like a 15 milli battery, like a like a starter kit battery. He's like, oh we don't sell starter kit we don't sell starter kits. And I and I, 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 I ran out of juice today and yesterday i duffed my coil and burnt uh dry hit so bad that i burnt my cotton so twice in london i had to try and find a decent vape shop and yesterday i must have walked past five before i eventually found one that hey this is a vape shop i'll go in here it's not a corner cafe that's selling juice it's guys who will actually have a juice line that i like and we'll know what the hell i'm talking and about this is the trouble isn't it i mean for shops it was easier years ago now there's far too much stuff available for any shop to have everything in yeah it's ridiculous i mean they can't i mean if you sell fruit bankrupt and if they had tried to get half the stuff that's out there in, on the shelves yeah if you sell fruit and veg you should not be able to sell vapes if you sell alcohol you should not be able to sell vapes if you sell tobacco you should not be able to sell vapes if you're a vape shop, that's what you are, not yeah. this corner cafe mentality. I mean, I mean, don't get us wrong. Uh, I can see why many, many people sell juice, but I think there is a little bit of responsibility behind um, behind selling a behind selling a, a starter kit or whatever. I think yeah. there should be a little bit of knowledge that you can impart on. If, because yeah, there's there's people there's people I, I see people around here who are in their sixties and seventies who are vaping you know people who just genuinely just want to get off the tabs, and uh, uh, I think you they're the sort of people that won't go into won't need to go into a good vape shop, aren't they? Yeah, there's two t there's two types of vape shop, isn't there? There's your mm. you know your starter kit, grab an ego and a, and a bottle of Hangson shops and then there's your hobbyist vape type shops but, gear. yeah sh surely a starter kit should be i thought i was just i was i was shocked that i couldn't get a starter kit 
Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's terrible. Every... Every shop should stock a starter kit. Yeah, well, they probably had starter kits, but egos are no longer the thing people are going for, are they? No, it's like um, Inican Endurers and stuff. yeah, they're the starter kits of today. I, su- I suppose I suppose the I suppose the, I just I, I just I, th- I thought an ego battery would be and pod systems as well. Yeah. But you buy you, you buy many loads of the pod systems are available. I mean, you can get them in the news agent around here. Yeah, yeah. I think the if they if you go in a shop and you say you're a smoker and they sell you a kit without imparting any advice, any help, any guidance, anything like that, they might as well not bother because the person yeah. might as well just bought it online. Yeah. The one advantage to a vape shop is unlike a shop where you could have just bought it off Amazon. It's more like an opticians, you know, they actually can impart advice. You know, it's like, a there aren't many retail outlets now that you need to go in, you know, it's like, because, because you can just buy it online, but something like a shoe shop or an optician or something like that, where you, they need to have a look at you. They need to see you. You need to check that it fits, that it works. Mm. That's the advantage of a vape shop. And well, if, they're not, if, they're not, if they're not using that key advantage, then there's no point. I mean, I'm quite lucky in time with drills with Prohibition Vapes, and they've, they've got a few shops over Kent. They've got a bit of everything. They've got some decent gear, and they've got starter kits, and they've got knowledge. And they quite often someone will go in there. They'll take the coil out of the person's atomizer, put the new one in there, and help them out. And they're good lads They with knowledge and help, and they help. So I think they'll last because people keep going back because they look after them, you know. Yeah, you I can. Think that's, a, that's, a, that's a basic, though, isn't it? Taking, taking a, a coil out and, and replacing it, I think, if, if you're not doing that as a vape shop, then mm. that's bad. That's that's really bad. If you, you know, it, It's I, quite I, a flawed I, business I, model, though. I mean, to, to be a, you know, it's a, if we're, if we're being real, it's because it's a retail job they're often minimum wage and and yet a person could have you know five years experience they could be incredibly knowledgeable they could date on a daily basis genuinely help people quit smoking and therefore further their life but ultimately they're on minimum wage and so you, you get good good shop vape shop employees you get bad ones and what what's yeah. what's wrong with with doing a job on minimum wage to the best of your ability? Is that not a thing? Do people not do that it's anymore? Not, it's not a thing anymore. No, <laughs> I think you have to find the right people, don't you? I mean, I certainly prohibition vape, so I don't know what anyone gets paid there, but they wouldn't. If somebody doesn't fit in, they get rid of them. You know, yeah, and they don't they don't hold on to people. Who they turn, they're not just filling the shop up with people. They make they're building a family. And they are. They go out. They do things. They play together. That's a, that's a that's a really good vape shop. It is really good vape shop. Yeah, and they're good people, all of them. And they're they're growing fast. And yeah, they do decent. They went white water rafting the other day. Billy took them all to do this rafting stuff, and he just does days out and stuff like that with them. And look, you know, they've got a good thing going there. It's good. The only advantage has got to be the advice thing. Try before you buy an advice. That's hmm. the advantage over online. And if they're not, yeah, if they're not ticking those two boxes, then yeah, if you go in a vape shop and you can't try the juice, you can't try a device, go walk out that vape shop and go to one that you can do that on. I'd say weed yeah. out the ones that aren't really into it for for the right reasons. And it's um, and this is one of these things, it's just self correcting, isn't it? It's you know the fox and the rabbit, isn't it? The if this if there's too many in a place, then. Some of them will go out of business, then there'll be the right amount. Yeah, it's like any market, isn't it? If, if there's a hole there, it'll get filled, and when it's too many, some will go down, you know. That's, that's what happens. I suppose, I suppose it is. I, I, although I think it can go the other way. My, the, so I mentioned the one at the end of the street. There is one a little bit further away, uh, run by, uh, by a mate of mine from uh, North East Vapors. Uh, Vietnology, um, and I think it is it the other way. He's too nice. He just uh, if he hasn't got gear in, he'll like send them. You go, oh, but such and such has got that 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 call in, or such, and he'll send people away, and he's just a little bit too nice. He's a little bit too nice, uh, or he'll spend way we are too long uh, letting people try a thousand juices and that sort of thing. Um, 
so I think it can go both ways. Uh, so that, that was just, I just, um, the, the whole vape shop, vape shop saturation, is it too much? Is it, um, that was a good little talking point. Mm. Uh, so that's that. Uh, uh, this week was the, the the waffle. We did awesome. We did so good. I, I was, I mean, I did a little video. I, 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 it's weird. I, I, I'm not used to, it's all right. I'm looking at a Rick there and I go, yeah, I'm talking to Rick. It's it's completely different looking at yourself going, I'm just talking to, I'm talking to nobody here. Um, and so I was, I was weird doing that. And I, I, I nervous, I don't know, nervous and stuff. Yeah, uh, he and did I a probably, good job, mate. It was a great rap. I probably, probably, yeah, probably didn't come across. It was good. Um, but I was, I was absolutely blown away at the money. And we're, we're, we've had a, a couple of little other bits and bobs come through. So, the total, as it stands today, uh, is two thousand five hundred and fifty pound, and it's just, uh, just absolutely amazing that um, that were raised. I, I didn't expect, I didn't expect anything like that, and my wife was exactly the same. I mean, I think she thought of, if we did well, we did it. We would do a couple hundred quid. You know, she's done things in the past and spent. I was like making candles and stuff like that, which I sold at work and that sort of thing, um, and raised like 40 and 50 quid and that sort of thing. And um, bless her. And, and and then and this was just such a so, anyway, today she she, she was in there doing a she was volunteering in there today and just told like the main boss lady, and they couldn't believe it either, they couldn't believe the amount <laughs> they thought that would be shared amongst all of them or whatever. And um, uh, so that's that's going to be transferred in the very near future. They haven't got the money just yet. We wanted to arrange arrange the best way to to transfer the money over there. Um, however, M did tell her about it was also oh, vaping group. There's a there's a whole vaping community and all this sort of thing, and uh, and they thought that was very weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? Let's it is. It. it is, and I suppose trying to trying to trying to trying to tell that to a muggle. Uh, would come across would would seem odd, you know, such a vast because it's a massive amount of money. It's a massive amount of money, and trying to explain, you know, you, you got you got all these mates online who are all vape and then and, the, and the, this and she'd use the word community, and she was like, oh, she's got this. Everybody, everybody is is shocked and stunned and, and amazed at the uh, at the um, the amazing response. So thank you very much, everybody who who donated and and uh, bought tickets. <sighs> well done to you, mate, and thank you for doing it. You're oh, fine. nah. It was cool. It was cool. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, that's that, that's, that's my news. I've got, I've got some tri Am I doing them now or should I do them later? What do you want? Uh, yeah, do them. Do them. Do them. Right, come on. You have to give me about 12 and a half minutes to start out this intro. That's Am no I problem. doing the top of the Travavars one? Wherever you like, wherever you like. It doesn't make any difference as long as we got a little bit of a thing that remind you about baby. As long as we get that. I've got, uh, I've got a video on it that says that's called ball bag. What's that? That's, one? that's oh, that'll be the that'll be that mailbag feature that we canned. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, hang tight. So this week's uh try for top. We've got some good ones this week. We have got some really good ones. A couple of them are Things that remind you of vaping, but they aren't really vaping at all. Beautiful. A couple of them are from uh, from our regulars, and a couple of newbies. Uh, let's 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 run them. Try for Tom Oz. Oh, press the button twice. There we go. There we go. This is from Alex Brewer, I think. I need to bring me. Uh, bring is. Me... is it? Is it from Alex? And yeah. this is this is Mark Maron. And uh, and he thought this he thought this reminded him of a, one of our hosts. Oh, he's denimed up. Yeah, Ricky thought this was you. I think. No, 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 no. he thought it was you. Nah, looks now like me. We got a vote. He's wearing it. denim and he's rocking a tash. Nah, looks now like yeah. It, I must admit, there's a little bit of a running joke in our house uh, about Mark, about Mark Maron, especially when I bought these spectacles that uh, I look a little bit like Mark Maron. Uh, and I love Mark Maron. I think he's absolutely brilliant. I uh, I think he's very, very funny. Uh, if you haven't seen his TV show, Maron, it's definitely worth a watch. And his stand-ups are as well. They're all on uh, on Netflix. Uh, that's, a, that's a bit of a plug for Maron there, just in case he, uh, he's listening, watching. Yeah, we've got a lot of new people watching. Yeah, 
This is from Bob. Is this from Bob? I haven't got the bloody It is from Bob. Yet. Yeah, I'll say who they're from for now. Excellent. Thank you. So this is a this was a Father's Day one. It's got the tash on there. Beautiful. Next one. Got another one from Bob. Bob. Oh, this see the pub. This is where I work. Used to work. This is in no. Tunbridge Wells. No way, dude. You used to work there. And it was called Grove Tavern. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. Did, did you used Next to pretend door, it was your gaff? Hey. Did you used to pretend it was yours? No, no. But it's actually in an area called the Grove, as well, where my first, where my last office was. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's not Trevata, then that's stalking, isn't it? <laughs> this is a little, isn't it? Dave Mottram, this is a good one. I like this one. SC4 ish. Very, I think it's probably medical. Is that medical? I don't know whether that's it's, yeah. an, it's an epi pen, I think. Yeah, yeah, quite like that one. Many, it's many like a coil, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Derry Murphy. Oh, this one came in really late doors. I'm not going to tell you this, but it looks a bit like an upside down drip, drip tips. tips. Yeah, yeah drip and tips. adapters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A couple of couple of goons, couple of five tens. Fizz. Tippy tippy tip, rods. Tippy rods. Uh, uh, That's tenuous. We're still getting. Uh, we're still getting um, number plates, and I'm. I'm I'm dubious about using them, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll have them. We'll have them. Uh, the tippy was a good one. Next one. James Hall, we've had this one before. I'm sure of it. I thought we had, but I, but I couldn't find it, um, and I wasn't sure that we just had something similar. Whether it was this particular one, so I give them the benefit of the doubt. I, I mean, it's a doubler. That sign says Heracles. It does. It's it's Hercules. One. Yeah, but if you change it just for the sake of it. Oh, if you did, it's a, an anagram of sort of uh, <laughs> whatever. <they call> it. <laughs> <Not an anagram. laughs> It's near enough, though, isn't it? It's near enough. Well, yeah. I'm just thinking how what what sort of lathe is that? I mean, look at the thing. You can make ah. some real good trip tips on there. I mean, Ryan Dorr would love that, wouldn't he? What, what is it? It's a lathe. Oh, I don't know. But look at the size of the bloody thing. Yeah, you, I mean, it's hard to tell the scale, but unless you look at the, the background there, that's a dude in the background. That that is. Yeah, that that's that must be almost you know two meters set you know diameter on that thing. Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? Yeah. Right, do you reckon it's a, a bottle cap opener? Yeah. Could it's be. It's for the new Gorilla bottles that they're bringing out. <laughs> <laughs> the two thousand gallon bottles they're bringing out. If anyone knows what that actually what they're actually making there? That'd be. They're they're making a CVT gearbox for it's a new ship. Um, Are they? Yeah, so it's a it's a belt drive gearbox for ships. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. I'm, I'm not stupid. My head is full of thoroughly useless information. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Next, John. Okay, apparently, apparently John had been out and about and saw the next gen, or the, the next, next, next gen driving academy. Couldn't get a picture, so he um, so he, he just googled it, and uh, and you know I knew John wasn't going to be on the show, so we so we uh, we used this one because poor John wasn't on the show. Yep, and there he is again. Look. There he is. Look with it. He, he <laughs> did eventually hunt them down, and yeah. uh, oh bless him! It's yeah. missing a U N T off there. <laughs> 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 Good old next gen. This one is uh, Jones. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure why books is uh, <laughs> is a Travama, but uh, it's got UKS in it, it's hasn't UK, it? Of course it is. Of course it is. I I jest surely. Uh, yep. Yeah, so that's a uh, that's another number plate. Oh, we had it. This is Michael Brigger. And this one, if you if you look closely, we've got uh, we've got a, we've got a little little got brick. an electric cigarette. We have got a real. We've got a real we've got what a is that mod? What is it? It's That's a fluid, fluid, isn't it? Fluid. It's very like the Darwin uh, revolver, isn't it? Or Evolver, sorry. <clears throat> the, just, I mean, just a posh eye stick. The 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 the, 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 the predecessors to the eye stick. I said the eye stick. They've been out a long time. The old fluids. Uh, great little mods. Absolutely great little mods. Yeah, beautiful. Yep. Next one. Michael Briggs again. This is very good. 
This is brilliant, this one. I saw this one. Yeah, if everybody's uh, seen a half, they'll, they'll get that. They'll be like, ha, ha, ha. That does remind me of vaping. Ha, ha. It's Very done. good, Sebastian. And he's got another one. Uh, that um, does look like some crusty auto fired deck, doesn't it? It does. Uh, Run tell you what it is, but it is it is monk that like it's absolutely that's pretty monk. much what my coil looked like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so much custard. But no, I thought that was quite good that one. Yeah, me too. Next one. Mick Blizzard. Good old Mick. Yeah. Is this a petrol pump? Yeah. Mm. Reminded him. I must, I must have reminded him vaguely of Vape. I, I, uh, so I guess it's a big mod. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think that's where you PWM mod. Yeah, potentially up around the front. Like he, he's next. Yeah. Next one. Paul Paulson. Good name, Paul Paulson. I want to be called James Jimson. Um, <laughs> that does look like a mech, doesn't it? It does. It look, that's got, it's got, it looks like it's got, even got a hybrid adapter or whatever on the bottom. It's what is it? Some sort of I don't know. What is it then? I don't know. Nobody puts an explanation to these things on this. They just go look. This reminded us of vape, and I saw it on <laughs> Wish. Good four stars. Four star. I like that it got four stars. Yeah. Next. It's, it's, not, per it's not perfect. Oh, not perfect by any stretch. This is I've from one Rick. Here. Yeah. What is it, Rick? Though is it an Astria? What is it? Is it's it an undercounter LED? LED light. Oh, it's a, a down light, LED down light. Ah, uh, I, I thought, yeah, I thought they were LEDs in the, in the top I section. Just saw of the it. I thought it was ergonomic and it was mod shape. So there could, there could easily be a button around the back. Yeah, that's There's what I thought. So many people have said to me before. Next one. Another one from Rick. It is actually, yeah, this has popped up on my thing when I was on Netflix and I thought of Nigel. It's good. It's, if you haven't watched it, it's really good. That's all I mentioned earlier when I was talking about uh, the staircase. Did you think of Nigel because of his limp? Because of the because he <laughs> he got because of evil gen, genius. That's what he uh, puts on his on his mods, isn't he? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. I was like, is it because he limps and he needs a cane or something? It does <laughs> look like him a little bit down there on the driving license, actually, doesn't it? It but, does. Little, little bit of a spoiler, that cane is really a gun. Oh, yeah, look, it's got a trigger on it, look. Yeah. It's, ah. good, it's, good. it's, it's really, really worth a watch, Rick, really worth a watch. Okay, next one, we've got any more? Final, last one, Trev. Ah. And this is and this is a proper, bona fide, genuine... Uh, this is Spain. Trevor, yeah, I, think it's, I think it's, I think it's in, his, in his hometown. He went for a bit of a mooch, isn't it, didn't he? Now, look at the number plate there. You've got a foreign number plate there. It's abroad somewhere. Yeah, he's in America. He, he, oh, okay. He, he's in, oh, Minnesota or somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And he saw, he saw Bonners, and he uh, and he took a photo, and bish, bash, bosh, he's not, he's in Philadelphia. Um, so that's, he, the, he, that's the local brothel, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's where you can go and get wood. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus, it's there. <laughs> that, that one is from Trev. I'm not going to go down that route. I think I'm, I'm, for Scott, for Scott. Uh, go on there from Trev. Go on there from Trev. And that is all of our Trevavas for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, more next week if we're uh, if we're if we're really really lucky. I think we will be lucky. There will be the odd one. I'd imagine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Who's next? Um, I'll do a bit. I'll do a bit if you want. <laughs> Don't uh, preempt. The, okay. Um, a quick, a few, a few little bits and bats, tiny little bits and bats. Um, firstly, I know we've just done a charity raffle. Uh, the timing's not perfect, but I'm doing a charity raffle on my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, I've just kicked that off and it's going quite nicely. Um, raising money for children's hospice and uh, there's loads of prizes literally three big boxes of prizes but um it's a sort of a mixture of random stuff that you know x review stuff and all that sort of stuff but i'm going to throw in uh two additional prizes uh, i'm going to throw in this the e phoenix uh, fury and resurrection v2 lovely Mm. Yeah, that's going to be one prize. And I'm also going to throw in as a fifth prize in the raffle the Stabwood Pumper. 
from Asmodus. Uh, mm-hmm. Big big fan of this. Uh, I know pumping the squonking is quite controversial, but that one side, I do genuinely really like this mod. So um, that's a pretty cool prize as well. So um, if anyone fancies entering uh, another charity raffle, uh, please pop over to my channel and have a look at that. Uh, Are there a lot of prizes? Yeah, yeah. So there's um, a massive box, <laughs> literally a box like this big. It's almost like, at the moment, stuff. it's almost like you don't half be guaranteed a prize if you went in on it then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is because it is, yeah, every, the people that have donated have been incredibly generous. But um, there's definitely room for some more entrants to the raffle. So check that out. Um, those are yeah, additional prizes, a little bit, uh, a little bit saucier prizes possibly. So hopefully uh, people will check that out. That that first prize, uh, Rich. It's enough to start a bit. I know we'll talk about it earlier. It's enough to start a vape shop. No, it was it was it was crazy. I know you edited it really really well, but it was like it's this and this and this and this and one of these, and two of these, and this. And, 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 and that went on for a long. Time. I was like, gee, that's all one prize, isn't it? Yeah, it's about five RTAs, <laughs> and then there's about seven mods. Oh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And, and uh, building kit, and there was just there was a lot of. I was like, blimey. Mm. Good, good, good prices. Great, great prices. Yeah. So hopefully uh, these will um, will tempt you into checking it out. Um, pretty, it's it's a, it's a good cause. It's a bit of fun, you know. It's a pound a ticket. So um, yeah, check it out. And, um, and so how do we, how do we give us give us more info though before you, before you move on? Uh, how do we how do we? Can you not post this rather than on the video? Can you not post stuff in the group though, so we can all just see it in? In, in in words rather yeah, than I could just do a step I could do a step by step list. yeah yeah I'll, I'll do oh, yeah, a list as well I'll do yeah I'll do a post I'll do a post yeah do, do a pro post, post so you know, I'll say what's what's actually all about uh yeah so that's going to run for a week and yeah it's a good cause it's, it's a bit of fun so check it out and uh, yeah I'll try and do a I'll try and do a thread tomorrow um uh, next one we've covered this RDA from the very beginning. The District 5 Layer Cake RDA. Mm. Um, I, I think there's a picture. There is. Do you want to run through the run so, through it first, the issues? And so, okay, so we were very excited about this RDA. Uh, we're a big fan of their previous work, and it, it kept popping up on Instagram, like previews and things like that, and it looked very, very pretty, and we were semi-curious, semi-interested. Mark Todd, uh, as he does, got one for review. And uh, it had a major issue. And, you know, Mark being the proper reviewer that he is, um, because there are different types of reviewer, (laughs) um, uh, being the proper one that he is, he immediately spotted a major design flaw. Uh, It's a one-screw deck, so everything happens from the turning of one screw. And as a result of that, obviously, the positive post is right down the centre, and um, which means it makes it incredibly easy for you to put your coil up against the positive post um so therefore incredibly easy to short and he spotted this and um he it's not, he, it's not even that he spotted it was it it was they actually sh- showed diagrams on the back of the box saying don't put your coils like this because you'll get a short yeah <laughs> actually yeah. so yeah they did they stay they obviously realized and just thought we'll work around it with packaging we haven't finished the packaging yet we'll work around it with packaging um he didn't, you know, he didn't go all dramatic on it. He contacted them, like, you know, which is the ideal solution when it's not out, out yet. Um, he contacted them with his concerns, and and they fobbed him off. Yeah. Um, they really did, didn't they? they? They fobbed him off with a really, this for an American-based company, they fobbed him off with, this is generalization again, but they fobbed him off with a, a very sort of Chinese-style response. <laughs> Um, it's the sort of response we get to our concerns on a daily basis for the, the Chinese gear that we get sent, where the person that you're talking to doesn't isn't that isn't their side of the business, and so they give you a very fobbed off response. Um, yeah, they fobbed him off, and um, now they've come up with this solution. Rick, if you've got uh, the picture, um, I mean, oh, it's good. It's good that they've come up with the solution to this problem. It's good that they've managed to. Ha- tackle it just before it goes into actual 
shops. Uh, I believe they've just held back on the delivery they were just about to send out to do this. Um, but they're putting an insulator in exactly where they should have always had an insulator. Stuff well, they had the from... insulator. They just didn't have these notches on it that went through to stop the coils going towards the metal. So well, it was yeah. just the round bit of the insulator. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they... <laughs> So yeah, if if your lead was up against that positive post, you're 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 in big trouble. Um, the the bad bit is the the text underneath. Really, it's good that they came up with a solution, all that sort of. Their 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 official stance on this, their official line is that um, selected reviewers and friends got a beta version. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to oh, steal any marks thunder here, but. It was very, very clear when they were sent out that these were review versions, these were final product versions. Um, and so they're trying to they're trying to make out that it was just a beta, they've sorted it all out, they're friends of the community, et cetera, et cetera, and they've put a positive spin on it. In my opinion, they they could have put a positive spin on it just by giving Mark some credit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. would imagine they would have got this from more than one source telling them the same thing you'd you would have hoped yeah you'd like to think so wouldn't you yeah but don't just fob off every all those people by no. saying you know oh you shouldn't have been making a video anyway it was a beta when it was very clear it was a review version yeah it was well, mark had the email to show that as well didn't he yeah yeah well you get a you get like a sheet you get like a cheat sheet and yeah so it's um yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit of a shame how it's panned out because this it's got a taint to it now, hasn't it? I mean, if they fobbed, they fobbed him off, and the... oh, 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 Rick's dropped out. He'll be back. Um, but yeah, it. Um, oh, here he is. Oh, it dropped out. Go on, Rick. You were saying it's put a tint on it. Yeah, it has though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean they. Um... No they didn't now. listen. They didn't listen, and then they did in the end. But I suppose they good. It's good that they have, and they haven't released it. But they were going to release it, like it. Yeah, they they knew of it because it was on the packaging, and they were going to put it out like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think it's from as 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 a reviewer, and like I say, there are different types of reviewers. But if a reviewer has one key purpose it is kind of this just that final safety net that final firewall between the consumer and the you know the manufacturer or uh, yeah that, 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 that was the order of play wasn't it he um he received it he voiced his concerns he got the the response back or whatever and then publicize that sort of thing it's it's, it's a sh it's a shame that it's had to happen that way it really really is um and i think it's uh, initially when i when i first saw it i was i was like well what's the point of that um that said is are they just is it just a central post for the sake of a central post when you i suppose when you're building a dual anti to capture everything at once is a good idea i can I, 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 I understand it and i can't understand especially maybe in clouds bro now yeah uh, and to, i can totally get why why they built it like that however i mean i'm I, i'm regulated and it wouldn't make any difference to me i would go read it i'll go to read and see and you've got a short however that atomizer it, it is geared a lot towards um towards mech people as well and i think uh, it, i don't think it's even squonk ready is it i mean it is a it is an rt it is a a tube atty really well it i mean it is it is squonk ready but is it but i mean how many max squonkers are there a millions yeah yeah but it's so it's i i what annoys me from from the review side is that to stand out as a reviewer these days you have to be controversial or ridiculous or super commercial with all your stuff uh when when a reviewer spots a good thing like this and they save everyone a lot of safety and an effort that should get the credit that they're due really because there's a really? massive lack of reviewers that actually do put their head above the parapet and point out these issues and spot these issues and it's a shame when it's just a shame from that side really that, yes. you know, that people that you know it, pro, that's proper reviewing that what mark did is proper reviewing you know screaming down a camera is not proper reviewing no, no. and so yeah it's just a bit sad from that point that industries 
my side of the industry, which is not in the industry, but that side of things is a bit depressing at the moment. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the update on that. So if you are getting one, if you were on a pre-order, hopefully you'll get it with that fix in, which is good. Um, but uh, the whole thing has left a bit of a sour taste. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm still on the fence about whether they what the atty will look like when it's got coils in there. To be honest. Um, what very goonish it's going to be rocking it's well i suppose if you've got two coils you're going to be it's going to be even isn't it so yeah. it's, it's, it's got to, it's got to be dual coil hasn't it? it's, uh, there is no has to be. if you put one coil in there it'd be all lopsided the top of the middle bit would be skewed the top bit would be skewed you'd, you'd be, and half of the rda would be redundant as well yeah mm. um it's got as it, from those pictures as well and a few people said in chat it's got a very shallow juice well it hasn't got a juice well at all, has it? It's a bit shallow. Oh, you, yeah, well, your coil's going to be about... Your coil's, your coil's going to be up here. You know, oh, it's going to be against this bit. So it's going to be the thickness of the coil. Then there's that step down there. We can't see what you... No, you can't, can you? I'm not sure. For, for it to be squonk ready, I, I think... Bring it up. Uh, Let's bring yeah, up. it's very... Sh that's for these, To modern standards, that's a very shallow way. It, it is. I think when you're, uh, when you're priming your coils, you're going to have to prime them... Not with not using your your juice your uh, your squonk bottle, but using your, okay. the juice that's in that squonk bottle. I think to prime your coils with a top cap off to prime it to check that everything's work, working uh, dandy. I think you yeah, that's you got you're gonna it's gonna be everywhere. So I think um, yeah, it's gonna be a, a prime with without without the top cap on prime with the actual juice bottle rather than your squonk bottle. Mm, mm, definitely. But it's a it's, it's that's. A, it's not a well, it's definitely a lip. There is one thing that concerns me. I haven't seen the top cap, or I can't see the inside of the top cap. But I would hope that the top cap isn't one of those ones that can be pushed down further than it than the base of the atty. Because uh, it doesn't look like there's a lip on the bottom of the deck there to stop the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh, we'll, well see, won't we? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's... um. Yeah, funny how it's panned out. But at least, at least for the mass populace, they won't be able to just shot it on a mech and blow their face off. <clears throat> yeah, and, yeah, which is a bonus. Uh, which brings us swiftly on to uh, this week on Instagram. Uh, we're changing this. This is going to be this week on social media. Uh, I'm broadening this out because some weeks everything seems to drop on Facebook. Some weeks everything seems to drop on Instagram. So I think there's a couple more pictures if you just grab one at random, Rick. There's uh, one troll. Is that the one? Oh, no, there's, there should be a different one. There should be. Is, is there any other pictures in there? There's Cthulhu 75. Yeah, yeah, put that one up. Uh, so this was a Facebook announcement by Cthulhu. They. Um, they are. This could have easily been in Troll of the Week, actually. They have created a new hybrid DNA 75C mod, and uh, they are appealing for names. Um, so there's a picture of the mod. Um, if you, if anyone gets a chance uh, at some point uh, on a rainy day or a boring day at work tomorrow, pop pop on the um, Kafalu mod page. There's some quite humorous suggestions in uh, in those 62 comments um but that is there apparently they're doing a stab wood dna 75c so that's uh interesting mm. uh, is there there might, should be one more picture in there rick i think there's a there's a scott one yes that one and this as well turnwood effects uh announced that uh they will pending issues had a few troubles this week hasn't he with his site and stuff but Today, actually isn't it? yeah but all being well there's going to be um three more uh at least three i think uh tfx s's available this uh this weekend and uh and that is one of them it's lovely that's beautiful that is right. very, very nice uh, so mm. saw that announcement uh this week as well and uh yeah it looks really good uh so uh, that's uh that's this week on social media Raw. Okay. Very hmm. good. Uh, Brad, do you want to do your bit? Yeah, if I have to. <laughs> you do. Tell us about yeah, the news. We've been waiting two weeks for this. Uh, I have two, yeah, two or three. It's not often that I prepare news, and when I do, it takes three weeks to get around to it. <laughs> but 
I've, I, I'm often in the position where I'm discussing TPD with the general public, with people, with guys in shops, with shop owners and manufacturers. Everyone seems to, and we've said it before on the show, everyone seems to think we got such a raw deal and it's so bad and it's so restricted. And while I agree, TPD is a pain in everyone's ass and no one's necessarily happy about it. When you compare how the shit deal that America got, that Canada is in the process of getting, when you compare it internationally, yes, it's restrictive. Yes, it's, it's government. They're here to fuck you. A couple of weeks ago, a South African army got hold of us and sent through the legislation that's currently being put past in South Africa, where as a manufacturer, as a shop owner, or as an advertiser, uh, even even if it's if it is if it, if it is print advertising, the magazine or the organisation that runs the advert is liable as well. If you claim that vaping is healthier than a cigarette, you are liable to up to 10 years in prison. And wow. We're all quite capable of assessing the <laughs> studies that have been done proving it is, what's it, at least 94% safer than cigarettes? Well, they yeah. say 90, 95, but it, that's yeah. conservative. They think it's, probably more. So. It's, it might not be as healthy as breathing, but it's a shit of health in fact and fact. Um, yeah. If you advertise that fact in South Africa, you're liable for up to 10 years in prison. It does go on to a million other different scenarios and the labeling issue, um, very similar to the way in which it's structured here. But the penalties that they've put in place screams of big tobacco's influence. So is is that really close to passing then? Yeah, yeah, it's the, I forget the guy's name now, Zwillinguvi or something like that. Um, he's got 60, 65% support in the, the equivalent, in the South African equivalent of the house. That's pretty much guaranteed at passing. I know there are um, two groups in South Africa who are trying to fight it really, really hard. So I forget his his name, but his one of the other U South African YouTubers uh, survey a lot. Um, he's he's leading a, a cause over there to, to try and fight it. But once it's gained as much traction as it has, and yeah, support that it's getting in the country from big tobacco. I don't see them winning that one. Yeah, we we have got it a lot better than most places. We really have. Um, it's it's funny in, in Europe as well because they've all taken the TPD differently, haven't they as well? Yeah, they've they've all got the same paperwork we have. They've just interpreted differently. Yeah, so obviously through doing the save, I sort of ran up against this. Um, like in Germany, they don't care about the two mil tank thing. Yeah. They that and that's why the really tall RTAs that you see coming out of Germany are, are so popular. Uh, they've they've ignored the two mil tank thing because if you've got a ten mil bottle of juice and that's available, then how is that any more or less dangerous than a tank with five mil juice? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. The, the crazy thing is the one ex, the one export them larger tanks. Well, there's there's several companies. Um, in Germany, you just you you can't buy them in England because because uh, the English because the English TPD says two mil tanks, so they, they are ignoring, but they are recognising other other people's TPD laws. It's yes, and that's there's a massive misinterpretation amongst all the import companies in the UK as well, because they they seem to believe that the rules mean that it can't be imported. Whereas that's not actually true, but all the couriers, all the major couriers, are doing that. They're checking to see if tanks are two mil. That, it's, it's crazy, and, and they, they, that's not the law at all. That's not our. That's not the English version of TPD at all. 
you such can't a, buy from abroad. Such a it's such a massive thing that is it is so broadly or, or roughly is probably the, a better word interpreted by so many people. And get get this in uh, the saver can't be sold in Switzerland because Switzerland have an additional rule on tanks that they all have to have a child safe cap top cap. Um, so I don't know if you've seen like smock products where you have to remove the drip tip to push the top cap off yeah. to fill it up and stuff like that, like secret ways to fill it. Or there's some way you push down and out and all that sort of stuff. Um, they're, chi they're child-proof top fill systems, and uh, they're the only ones that are allowed to be sold in, in Switzerland. I, I did see this on some of the smock stuff, and I was wondering why they'd actually gone and developed that. That makes sense that it's for... It, I, I presume they've thrown it as additional things simply because but, there's a, a couple of countries in Europe that have added that into it. Correct me if I'm wrong or not, but Switzerland aren't in the customs union. No, they... So do they, they need to follow the EU directives and stuff? They don't. I don't think they have to. I think but I think all, all, the, all the EU trade states did agree to that legislation, I believe. So, so even Norway as well, then? I think, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, we have we have got lucky. Everyone everywhere in in Europe has interpreted it differently, but Europe overall has got it good compared to a lot of places. A few people have said in chat you can't vape in Singapore legally. Yeah. Uh, at all, uh, there's a couple of other places. Or in, Thailand is it? Thailand yeah. as well. I got a mate who lives in Thailand, and mm. he was a twenty a day vapor. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm a 20 a day vapor. Yeah, a 20 a day smoker. Um, he's quit and he just vapes now. But he can only vape in his house. It's illegal to vape in his house, but he only feels safe enough to vape in his house because if, if he vapes outside, it's fines. Your first warning, I believe, is a fine. Your second warning is a much, much more severe fine. Your third one is potential jail time. I think it was the Philippines where they did a random raid. They passed a law overnight and then raided loads of vape shops or something like this and seized all the stock. It's just, yeah, so we have we have got it good compared to that. And that South African one sounds really bad. It's daft. I'll, when, I, when I'm not quite as pushed, I'll actually load the document and read some of the daft legislation that they're passing. Madness. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so... I think uh, are we are we wrapping up, Rick? Is it time for that beautiful music? Oh, what the that whistling music? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I've got that time. It's the whistling time. It's the the time of the mod showcase of the week. I've got four mods to show you this week. Oh, blimey, God. Oh, I tell you, four mods that are all w worthy and interesting. And let's get straight into it, shall we? The first one by a guy called Graham Pearson Bish, Cubish Mods. Used, he's an old modder. He used to mod years ago, and he's sort of retired, and he's come out of retirement, and he's making mods again now. And he's made a, he's made a nice squonker. And... Let's get into showing some pictures, shall we? Go on then. Oh. Here we go. It's a big one, but it's a it's a oh. nice regulated squonker. I stand to be corrected, but is that a Bonner block? No, he actually oh. makes his own blocks. Oh. So yeah, like Scott, he makes his own blocks as well. Oh. I do like the face. It's almost pylony, isn't it? Being straight, full size. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, he made this, and I thought this was really nice and worth worth showing for sure. Big. It's a big one. Or maybe the squonk hole isn't that big. I'm not sure. Cheeky MM510 on top. Yeah. And yeah, it's a lovely, lovely block made by him and the mod made by him. So it's a, it's a lovely block. Yeah, that's uh. Graham Pearson Bish of Cubish Mods. Nice. Next, nice. next up, Mark, we've had this guy on before, Mark Rowe. He's made another mod and it looks like a production. 
Oh I'm yeah, talking. he makes them ridiculously, <laughs> ridiculously professionally, doesn't he? I know it's crazy. It looks like I'm not. He's got some. I, I don't know what the material is or anything, but um, it looks like it's come out of a production line. You know, it's got the dovetailing on the door. Yeah, all of it. It's just really very neat, very polished. Um, oh, it's an odd one, isn't it? He makes these mods. They look like they're production mods that could be quite cheap. <laughs> that sounds that's the wrong way to say the wrong thing to say because they they're beautiful. But they're so professional. They've got a mass made feel. Yeah, yeah they, they have. Yeah, it has. Yeah, they are very professional looking, and they look like they could be mass produced. You know. Yeah, you um, if you, if, the, if you suddenly said I don't know, this is Kanga's new thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no, I thought that's he's he's got some skills. He's got some skills, Mark Rowe, uh, and that's uh, very very nice. Next up, another guy who we know, Matt Johnson. He's made a nice. He's making quite a lot of nice mods lately, actually. Mm, yeah, he is. So. Um, and he made this one, and I thought this was worth showing too. Yeah, that's got to be a bonnet block there, though, hasn't it? I, it looks like it, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but it's a it's a twenty one or twenty seven hundred battery tube, so a nice big battery in there. The, um, the stab ones he's made up to now, they've sent the block, haven't they? Well, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. They've but, said make make me one out of this sort of thing. I think. But he's done a lovely job on this one. He's got a nice wooden faceplate as well, um, and I thought it's definitely worth showing. No screws on the faceplate either. I'm not sure. It must be held in with a magnet or something. Um, but no, very nice. That's uh, mm. fine mods, Matt Johnson. Finally, this mod isn't as flash as all the other ones, but you know what? It's it's remind it's modding. It's proper modding. Are we, are we going back to our roots? We are. We are. We're going back. We're a bit of tube aluminium, and this is a section of aluminium. He's 3D printed the insides, made some acrylic doors, and he's got a series unregulated mod there. I like the uh, doors. And I like it because it's a it's a cheap chunk of what we used to make mods out of, you know, box aluminium and plastic doors, you know. Um, and I like it for that reason, really. It's it's going back to, to what we used to do, but it's a bit more polished because now we're all using 3D printers and making the insides a little bit better. Mm. Um, I really like that mod. That's lovely. That's uh, Dave Hebson made that. Nice work, Dave. Yeah, well done. Yeah, so that's uh, good work, fella. So, yeah, that's Mod Showcase of the Week. If you like what you saw, get yourself onto Facebook and search for Mod Showcases. Little, there's a little group. People post their creations on there, and it's fun. It's nice. It's good to see what people make. Mm. That's yeah, it. definitely. Uh, we've just got one. Tr oh, we've got Echo. Is that because you're playing the music thing? Uh, I've just got one troll. This can't go past. Like this, we can't. This can't sneak past us. Oh, major Echo. <laughs> this one can cannot sneak past us without uh, getting shown on Troll of the Week. Uh, Rick's going to be busy now because he's going to have to show the troll picture from I've my folder. It. But yes, this one, this one has done the full rounds on the Facebook groups uh, this week, so it, it had to be shown. It literally had to be shown. Oh, awesome. I love this one. When you showed us this, it was like, wow, that's great. Yeah, I can't. Remember, was it was it you, James, that found it? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, Brad, let's, let's see what it is. I'm, I'm not. It uh, I don't remember. But, I'll share it. Yeah, Can share it. This is, this is. This has done the rounds. Very, very, very good. So, oh, yes. <laughs> so I bought a Pulse 80 watt. I managed to get one battery in, but the other one nowhere near fits in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love it. And I, I, I strongly suggest that, that is pure humor, which uh, I, it's I, got I, to be, I, I, don't, I don't even suggest it because my, my missus before she was pregnant was still vacant and took in took her mod in to work and was showing one of the guys in an office and he asked about why is the second battery so much smaller than the first oh, and it, it, 
It very well could just be someone who hasn't got a cooking clue. What no, we this, this is staged. This is someone having a laugh. I mean, yeah, if would have come with I, a I, I remember seeing the original post, and it, would, it, definitely, it definitely was. Uh, He's having a laugh. What are you having a laugh? Bit of trolling. He's having a giraffe, that fella. Tony, I do, I do giraffe, like the idea of someone. As big as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea of someone thinking a squonk bottle is a battery though why is this why is it squishy juice in this battery um but yeah no it's, i thought it was very very good it's done the full rounds on the vaping world so yeah, it's good, good. good one that one uh but that is it i think that is it for this week's ideal Home show thank you very much for watching so have we got any closing statements anything we need to say Oh, John's back next week. Hopefully, John. he's got his Wi-Fi set up. John's back next week from his new office with his new broadband. It's going to be amazing. That's quite quick to get the broadband sorted. I hope he's got it for next week. It sometimes takes longer than that than a week. No, he's also he had, he had, he had wireless this evening apparently. Why did he come on then? Uh, no, but he said it was set up. He said it was all set up. Oh. He likes organising things. Perhaps he premeditated the broadband. Uh, so yeah, all being good, all being good. Um, we'll see John next week. Thank you very much for watching. We've been the Ideal Home Show. Smash that like button. Smash it, like it. Yes. subscribe. There, where if, is it? It's here. It's there. Somewhere yeah. here. Yeah. If like and subscribe. Button. Check me out on Instagram. Yeah, and I'm no doubt we've had two dislikes already. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, bollocks to you. We don't care. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that bell and join the notification squad. Um, like if you didn't like the show, hit the dislike button twice. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next Thursday. See you next Thursday. See you next Thursday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.